What's up, Mansion Builders? On this episode, I wanna share the four biggest aha moments that our partners just had. We just got back from our Mansion Builder Live event. It's an in-person event. We spent three days here together, here in Georgetown. We had about 50 partners out. We spent time going through the buildings, walking through the mansions, looking at the construction, doing tour training, meeting with our digital marketing team, meeting with our lenders. And I wanna share, here are the biggest aha moments and takeaways that as a group we had. So the first is relating to the bank. We had our preferred lenders out, our SBA lenders. They came out for a couple days. They met with all the partners. We did lunch together. We did dinner together. And we were able to build relationships. Now, one of the things that was a really big takeaway for our partners, when our lenders were up there doing their presentation, they were talking about this distinction here. It's the distinction between cash flow-based lending and collateral-based lending. So we are in assisted living here, right? And our lender was explaining in this perspective, and it was a big aha shift for people, that really what we do here is a business opportunity, that the bank lends to a business, right? The numbers have to make sense. It's cash flow base. And the business happens to come with real estate. It's almost like a backside to the bank. So from the bank's perspective, they put more importance on the deal from the cash flow perspective, the business opportunity, and not as much on the real estate side, not as much on the collateral side. So that was a big shift for people because people are coming in with preconceived ideas as you go to your local bank and you're looking to do you know, a personal home loan and you're looking at debt to income ratios and what are my you know, collateral, what's the appraisal gonna come back at? That's not the way the bank looks at it, specifically because they're SBA, right? And there's a lot less risk there because the SBA program is covering up to 75% of that if things go wrong. So the bank has less risk, they're able to leverage more, and therefore they're looking at the deal based on the business side of this. What is the cash flow? If your deal is spitting off 40 grand a month very, very consistently, and the appraisal comes in a bit low, that's not a huge barrier for the bank to overcome. They are not looking at it from a collateral perspective as a priority, the priority is the cash flow perspective. So you transition that down one step further in people's minds, and it also goes to what type of net worth do I need to have? I don't have to have $2 million in assets or in the bank, right? Because this is not a collateral based loan. This is a cash flow based loan. I need a home run deal. The deal is the most important. The business opportunity is the most important. And less what does my financial statement say? Now that's important, but it's not quite as important because you can bring on a partner to the team that can provide that financial backing there as well. The other thing that I thought was really cool was he talked about getting a HELOC. And some people thought had this negative idea that, oh, having a HELOC is a disadvantage. Our lender said, no, go out and get the biggest HELOC you can and just have it there as a safety net. When the bank is asking, what kind of reserves do you have in cash? They want to see roughly about six months in cash. That HELOC is that safety net. It is that reserve. If you have that approval there and you haven't touched it, that is what the bank considers your reserve money or can be part of your reserve money. And that was a big win for people as you're trying to collect all this capital to put into your down payment. And then how do you still have a reserve, a safety net on top of that? That HELOC opportunity is a big opportunity. Now, the second biggest aha for people was the importance of partnerships. And I would say there's really kind of two different ways you can go with the partnerships here. One is a financial partner, right? An investor partner and the importance of that because a lot of times most people don't have all the things that they can do. They don't have the financial means, they don't have the real estate and business experience and they don't have the medical and kind of nursing style of experience. And it's like, well, you don't have to have all your ducks in a row to be able to do this kind of deal. The importance of a partner you can bring in and fill in the gaps. And that might be a financial partner to be able to come in and bring in the down payment money and keep them on as an investor. Or it may be someone who has more of the business or real estate experience, or it may be the opposite, someone who has the medical experience or the experience as an admin running a similar type of end of life care facility. So really the biggest difference was that you could take kind of normal people, right? People who are smart people have their stuff together, but they're not experts in all these kind of fields. They've never built new construction before. They don't have a real estate background. So they're able to leverage our team as their partner to come in and build our mansions, right? To have our builders support them through this thing. And you could be the nurse type of avatar and have not really great experience on the systems and the business and the real estate side and bring in our team really, right? To be the partner on that side. 
Or you could be the opposite. You could be that business person. You can have a lot of experience running a team before or be a construction type person and, and are comfortable building once you have the plans, but you've never run the operations company. You've never done, say, the marketing, the hiring, the training, the medication, the dementia. Like that might be all foreign to you. And again, you bring in a partner, right? It may be our team to be able to come in and provide the systems and the tools and the training and support to have both sides of the deal here, or really three sides, right? The investor capital, the business side, and the operations side. The third biggest thing that stood out was the sense of community. You get in the room with all of these people and they have seen each other on group calls, you know, online, on Zoom and stuff, but never met in person. And it was so awesome to see the avatar, the, the group of people there were so similar, right? There are awesome people there that have the same goals. They are pursuing financial freedom. They are putting their family um, first. They want to make a difference, right? They're, they're awesome people who have a big heart, who want to get their financial stuff together and make a difference in their community. So it was awesome to see the, the bonding, the culture, everybody there being able to go to dinner together, hang out together, learn together, and then support each other through these things, right? To, to bond, to hear the stories of, hey, here's why I'm doing this, right? I want to take care of my own mom. I want to set up this retirement for my family. Everyone had similar stories and journeys. And then to be able to meet each other in person and then see each other multiple times a week on the group calls and then be able to encourage people, right? You have people who are ahead of you in the journey. They started six months earlier, a year earlier. They got their operations company going. They're under construction. And to be able to, when things get hard, because things do get hard, this is business in real life, right? When you get a, a hit a struggle, when you have a hard time, not only having myself and, and Laura as an encouragement, but to have dozens of people who have gone through the same struggle, the same battle, and have overcome it, to be able to reach out and get encouragement and stay motivated. The fourth biggest aha moment, really the mind blown, was going through and walking through the mansions. I mean, everyone has seen it online. Some people have come out to the buildings, but when you actually see the mansions, somebody said it this way, I didn't know they were so grand. They are massive. And you say, oh, okay, 10,000 square feet, right? That's, you know, twice as big as a big house. Most big houses are two story, right? So this mansion is all single story. When you walk through 10,000 square feet of single story, it is huge. It takes such a huge footprint. And they're 25, 30 feet high, right? It looks like a two story building that's just sprawling and massive. And then we put it on this eight acres with several of these mansions and this, the, the grandness comes through and people saw the vision, right? They see what Platinum's doing and then they're able to have this click in their mind. Oh, this is what mine is gonna look like. I mean, they're literally building the exact same buildings, right? A lot of partners are doing the, the phase approach to building out a neighborhood. So to have that confidence and that certainty, like, okay, this is what my product looks like. I'm literally walking through, looking at all the rooms and the great room and the kitchen and getting a fantastic understanding on it. I've been staring at the blueprints and the plans and it looks two dimensional, but to now walk through it and see the feel and see how high the window walls are, it's just like glass all the way up and have a confidence knowing that, you know what, I've already secret shot my market and I've seen the nicest places, they're crap. They are nothing compared to this model, right? We have a unique opportunity in the market space and there's no competition. So as you're secret shopping and pushing the price envelope and you're like, ah, oh, can people really wanna spend this money? Well, yeah, we're that much better than everyone else, right? They're coming through, they're seeing the actual buildings, but then they're going through and they're seeing the actual care, walking through our product at Mesa, seeing the grandmas and grandpas, seeing the staff, seeing the culture and environment and having a, understanding of what the care looks like, understanding of the environment and the culture to know legitimately like I can do this model. I can be better than all my competition. This is why we have a massive wait list, honestly, right? We steal the grandmas from the big smelly facilities that are giving bad care. And to have the partners come and see it in real life and know, okay, this is why, right? I hear Brett say it all the time, but this is the real deal. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna build the same thing. I can copy and paste this. And then just being believed and being encouraged and, and having confidence as I go and talk to a builder and the architect and, and I'm raising money. No, this is what my product's gonna be, right? It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be sprawling. It's gonna be the best of the best. So it was an amazing event. This is just an exclusive event to our partners. And if you say, you know what? I wanna see this stuff. I wanna learn this stuff. You don't have to partner with me. It's not a fit for everyone. But we have free courses on the website, assistedlivingmansion.com. Hit the free training section. I built out three free courses. It's really 
the like if I was private mentoring you step by step by step all the way through up to the construction stage and we're building out that course next. So you can do this without having me on your team. You can take our model, our vision and build it out yourself. So I hope that you can take massive action, hit this kind of deal and hit life changing results for your own family.